Hi, and it's a great day here in Norfolk, and I've come into the office just to finish off that Ubiquiti G3 Pro uh, camera setup we did a few weeks back. You can find that video over here. Uh, this video is about the installing the network, installing those cameras, and finishing it all off. Now, if you would like us to get involved with a networking project in your home or your business, please get in touch. If you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. So before we get started, I'm gonna to have to remove one of these uh, boards so I can get to the cables that are beneath me. So at the moment, all the cables are beneath me. Uh, so I'm gonna to need to get this cable, these two cables here and, and, and what's beneath me and bring them up so that we can then uh, bring in the cabinet and do all the cable chasing from there. So I'm gonna to have to cut an access hole in this flooring here so that we can get to the actual cables underneath. The cabinet's gonna be over the top of it anyway, so we're not gonna see it. So I'm gonna make a nice uh, discrete hole here where these cables come through. Uh, take the, the, the piece of wood out so we can get to the cables and hopefully we should be golden. So we've got our access hole. So we should be able to, we'll have a peer down there in a second and have a look. But here we, here we go with our cables. This one, well, this one's just gonna have to get tucked out of the way, I think. Um, and this one, what we're gonna have to do is hopefully untether it all and just reroute it a little bit. But essentially, this is what we want. We need these, or at least one of these, to go into this cabinet. Preferably both of these, in fact, going into this one cabinet. So. Uh, we'll just have to do a little bit of rerouting of these cables and hopefully we should be good to go. Okay, so that's where we are going to have to reroute these cables. And there's a few other network cables in here that we're going to pull through as well. So uh, we've got to get all this sorted out uh, too. So we've got a little bit of cabling here to do. So that's going to take a bit of time, so we'll uh, come back in a minute. Okay, so today we've managed to get the hole into the floor and we uh, just temporarily located the cabinet here. Uh, we've managed to pull through some of the existing cable. So we've got some of the existing cable here that was part of, of a, an old network that was installed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tidy those cables up and make sure that we've got enough uh, play here to, uh, to go into the patch panel. And what we use in terms of our patch panel is a MTEC CAT 6A 1U uh, patch panel that we got from City Electrical Factors. We also use the MTEC CAT 6A Keystone Jacks. Uh, these are really good, for, I believe, because they are solid, they are shielded, and we only use CAT 6 uh, cabling throughout our installations. And this is because we believe that installing for the future rather than in the past. So you can have faster speeds on your network when those faster speeds come available.
that we've got the cabinet and the cables all installed and patched out, it's time to get these Ubiquiti G3 Pro cameras installed. Now we've got quite a few of them, so let's get to it. There you go, that was the Ubiquiti G3 Pro camera installation uh, with the USW 16 port PoE switch. Uh, the installation went really, really well, except for the increase in the uh, wind that made it very difficult working on the ladder. But um, I think it went really, really well and uh, we got those uh, extra cameras installed. What's your thoughts? Uh, do you Would you have done something differently? Uh, would you like to uh, see us do further installations of this kind of thing, please put the, your comments uh, down below. Uh, again, if you like these kind of videos, please like, subscribe. My name's Rob from RLS Computer Services. Have a good day.